Well, we'll have to put off the world cruise for another year, but we'll manage. We've still got loads of baby stuff to get, you know. Yeah, well, we get it. I saw the bank statement. Oh. We're overdrawn. Yeah, not much. But why didn't you tell me? Because that's for me to worry about, not you. Yes, you keep saying that, but it's not as easy as that. No, I can look after my wife and kids. I know you can. Just wish you'd let me help, that's all. Well, you've got enough on your plate as it is. I was thinking, what about your dad? What about him? Well, hasn't he left you anything? Dunno. I mean, if he has, it won't be much. I mean, he's hardly what you call a dedicated saver now, was he? The stool always seemed to do well. Yeah, the stool. Well, what? Well, I was supposed to talk to Auntie Pauline about it. Well, what about Mark? Well, it's got nothing to do with him. Dad bought Auntie Pauline that years ago. I doubt if Pauline would see it like that. Mark was only supposed to be running it until Dad got back. Well, he's not going to be doing that now, is he? By rights, it's mine. Ours. No, Ian, they'll never agree. You said I wasn't to give them a choice. How's it going? Oh, not bad. Yeah? Got time for a quick chat? What for? I'll only take five minutes, buy you a drink. Yeah, all right, look, I can't stay long. Five minutes? Yeah, all right. Lou, keep an eye for us, will you? Cheers. You what? I appreciate you looking after the storm, Mark, but that's all my dad asked you to do. Exactly, he asked me. When he thought he was going to be coming back. Look, the store's my dad's. He's no longer with us, so it passes on to me. What a sudden interest, eh? You never bothered before. Yeah, well, that's my business. Nothing to do with those little pound signs lighting up in your eyes, is it? Oh, and you've been doing it for the goodness of your heart, have you? Mark, I don't want to argue with you about this. The stall is mine by rights, and that's all there is to it. Now, you can see the week out if you want, but after that, you can have to sort something else out. No. Mark. Oh, you can have the stall. we would have to see the rest of the week out yourself. Oh, the keys are locked up right now. Pauline, Dad brought you out ages ago, which means you've got nothing to do with the stall anymore. Mum, please leave it. You're wasting your breath. No, this stall has been in our family since before he was born. He had no right to do this without talking to someone first. What is there to talk about? You mind your manners, boy. Your auntie's talking to you. What's going on? Ian has thrown Mark off the stall. I did not throw him off. Ian? But did Dad say that one day the stall would be mine? Yes or no? Oh, yeah. yeah. Right, there you are then. Well, does it give you the right to do this? I mean, what about Mark? No consideration for others. Now, just hang on a minute. Just a minute. This is family business. Was well, my family and all? No. You stopped being family the day you ran off and left Peter. Oh, so what was all that the other day, then? You know, about the family sticking together to help out Auntie Nelly. I was good enough to be a bill then, wasn't I? Well, that was different. Oh, I thought it might be. You only use this family when it suits you. Oh, it's all flaming coming out now, isn't it? What's God. going on here? This is none of your business. Everything out here is my business. No, this is between me and him. You tell him, Paulie. Look, I don't care who it's between, as long as you don't have a public slangy match in the middle of my market. This stall has got nothing to do with your poxy market. No, that's right. That's got nothing to do with it. It's still affecting my trade. It's now you've got two minutes or I'm calling the police. Call them, then. The only thing I won't, love. And then you'll all get done for causing a disturbance. Now, I don't mind you screaming at each other, but at least you can have the decency to do it in the privacy of your own homes. Oh, come on, Mum, this ain't gonna solve nothing, please. Right, you, I wanna see you over the road. I've not finished with you yet. Who the hell does she think she is? No, I can't really blame her. Really. So what's brought this on anyway? I didn't know you was interested in the stall. Mum, it's the case of having to be. The kids are okay? Yeah, Cindy just got back. All right, let's go get this over and done with, shall we? Hey! Where are you going? I'm coming with you. No, you're not. I don't want to full scale right on my hands. Besides, there's nothing she can do about it, and she knows it. Ian. Mum, if you want to be of help, do five minutes in the store, will you? Sorry, Auntie Pauline, but nothing you say is going to change anything. But your family must come first. <sighs> All right, family. You keep hoping on about the family this, the family that. I've had it drummed into me since I was in the eye of a grasshopper. That's what I'm doing now. I'm looking after my family, Cindy and the kids. I'm just making sure they don't want for anything. Now, if that upsets anyone and makes me out to be the bad guy, then fine. But that's the way it is, and there's nothing you or anyone else can do about it. I was brought up working it with me dad, wasn't I? Mark can do it. Don't see why I can't. I bet Pauline's blaming me. You should blame who she likes. Might make a blind bit of difference. It'd be funny seeing you working on the stall. <coughs> why? I don't know, I just will. You have to go up really early, you know that. <coughs> yeah. Still won't be for long. <coughs> why? You don't think I'm going to spend my life selling fruit and veg, do you? Mm. Why well, go to the trouble to get the stall, then? So I can sell it. <laughs>